Hi everyone! Today I'm gonna talk about page schemas extension for Semantic Media Wiki. If you're watching this tutorial, you probably use Semantic Media Wiki and Semantic Forms, and you already know how to write templates and forms to semantically annotate your content. If you use Semantic Forms extension, you already know the special pages this extension provides. These pages are called create a category, create a template, create a form, create a property, and create a class. The pages helps you to define the forms and templates using, using visual editor instead of writing them by hand. Using create a class special page, it's very easy to describe some object in our wiki and generate all the forms, templates, and properties automatically. For example, the flower. It can have color, size, aerial, and Latin name. After I push the create button, poof, all these description will be created. But I can't alter this set of descriptions. I can't alter what fields will be in my form, what fields will be in my template. And to address this problem, page schemas extension was created. Page Schemas is an extension that allows you to store and edit the description of all the properties, templates, and forms related to a certain category. With that, you can change the structure of your wiki easily and effortlessly on the fly. So let's get started. First, you need to create a category for your objects. For example, now I want to generate forms and templates for creating cities in my wiki. So I will go to a category city. Now push the create schema button and behold the schema editor. Let's first create a simple schema. First of all, I want my cities to be edited through the form. So I will create a form called city and I will define its bottom. So I want the free text input the watch input, the save input, and the cancel input to be presented at the bottom of my form. Now, let's define the template for this form. Uh, push the button Add a Template and enter the template name. Of course, it will be City. Now you're ready to add some fields to the city. First field will be the name. All cities have a name. Uh, it will be represented as semantic properties, name property, of the type string. It will be entered through the form input of the type text. I also want to add some other fields. First will be establishment date. It will be represented as semantic property that is called establishment date of the type date, it will be entered through the form input of the type date pair and other field that will be called population, it will be displayed if not empty, it will be represented as semantic property population of the type number, it will be entered through the form input for example, spinner. And now we are ready to save our schema. You probably remember that when you used create a class special page, all the properties, templates and forms were created immediately after you pushed the button create a class. With page schemas, the situation is slightly different. Page schemas just saves the description of the class in an XML document. Th this description is called schema in our terminology. You can watch the visual representation of the schema here, or you can watch and edit the XML itself by editing the category page. When you get satisfied with your schema, push the button generate pages. Page schemas will ask you whether you want to generate all, all 
all the properties, templates and forms, or just some of them. What was my big problem when I used create a class is that if I wanted to add new parameter to a template and form, I had to do it manually. You don't have such an issue with page schemas, because the schema is stored on a category page, and you can edit it and regenerate the pages once again. Let me demonstrate this. For example, I have forgotten to add country parameter to my city template. No worries, just push edit schema and add a new field. So we want a field country represented as property of the type page and entered from the form input text. Now save the page and push generate pages once again. Now do you see? You probably don't want to regenerate all the pages, but only the property country, the template city and the form city.